To get very good fuel economy. But the new flagship crossover is a lot lighter than its predecessor. And now the German automaker is rolling out an even more efficient version. In Europe, at any rate. Bearing the designation that distinguishes the most fuel-efficient models that Audi offers, the new Audi Q7 Ultra 3.0 TDI Quattro packs a more frugal version of the 3.0-liter V6 turbo diesel. In ultra-spec, it produces 218 horsepower instead of 272, and 369 pound-feet of torque instead of 443. In exchange, it returns better fuel economy, now quoted at the equivalent of 42.8 miles per gallon, compared to 41.3 for the more potent version. That's not half bad for a crossover this large, even if it is on the European efficiency test, which returns higher numbers than what we're used to in the US. Of course, burning less fuel comes at a bit of a performance penalty, instead of 6.3 seconds, it now takes 7.1 seconds to reach 62 miles per hour from a standstill. Top speed is quoted at just over 134 miles per hour, down from 145. Of course, the e-drop hybrid will be the most efficient model in the Q7 range, returning the equivalent of over 117 miles per gallon while reaching 62 in 6 seconds flat. That is, when it starts reaching dealers next spring, spring, to get very good fuel economy. But the new flagship crossover is a lot lighter than its predecessor. And now the German automaker is rolling out an even more efficient version. In Europe, at any rate. Bearing the designation that distinguishes the most fuel-efficient models that Audi